So one of the most discouraging things about working out or keeping fit is finding the energy or the motivation to do anything. Whether it's been a while since you've been working out, you're out of shape, or you're dealing with a medical chronic condition like mine, it can be so hard to get your body moving. Well, I'm gonna share with you guys some easy, low intensity ways that I use to stay fit and keep my body moving. So one thing about having an autoimmune condition like mine, such as Graves' disease, is chronic fatigue and low energy is something that is always there. Now, sometimes I have some energy and sometimes very energetic, but a lot of the times I'm just so tired and lethargic. And in the beginning of me dealing with my condition, I had a lot of muscle atrophy, I lost a lot of weight, and it took some time for me to get that strength back. Of course, there are times where I have a lot of energy, I'm moving, I'm doing the thing, but I've noticed in the past that whenever I have had times of high energy and I'm not feeling so fatigued is when I'm actually working out and moving on a constant basis. Recently, I haven't been doing much of that 2020 and a lot of 2021 so far has kind of been like a blur, but I'm motivated now that the sunshine is out to keep moving, keep my body moving and, and try to get some of my energy back. Overexerting your body is something we all have to be careful of, but when you have a condition like Graves' disease or you're just starting out in keeping fit, it can be really dangerous. So you have to move easy. I've dealt with heart issues when I was just dealing with my uh, Graves' disease condition. So all the aerobic exercises, high intensity workouts I was doing, I couldn't do anymore. And that was all I did. Like I've been doing track and field during, when I was in England and also all throughout high school when I was here in the States. And although I didn't do it in college, I ran on a constant basis and I was always moving. With this condition, it's something that's just put a full stop on everything. And it's such a major life transition, but everything is about transition, is about adapting to the new normal. So what am I doing to adjust to the new normal? I have been doing mostly strength training and calisthenics, so hit workouts, running, activities that will keep your heart pumping and moving, that's aerobic. And that can really bring up your heart rate. But as I've just described with someone like me, that is in danger of overexerting my body by doing those exercises, how am I going to keep fit? And that's with calisthenics and strength training. Utilizing your own body weight to stay fit. Movements that will really have you supporting your whole body weight. My old track coach, he took over our training during high school. He made it a point to mention how important it was to strengthen your muscles. I dealt with a massive injury in the past and that was mainly the one way that I was able to run again and move normal again. But one thing that sticks with me is the calisthenics training that he introduced into my life. If you can support your own body weight, if you can carry your own body weight, that is a true signal of strength. That's how I have been utilizing my workouts since I've been diagnosed with Graves' disease because it doesn't bring up my heart rate too much. I might break out a sweat a little bit, but I'm moving and I do see results. I do feel stronger. I am gaining the weight and as I'm gaining the weight, I have to make sure I'm keeping moving so that I don't just be completely out of shape. Roller skating. Roller skating is something I've been doing since I was a little girl and it's been so many years since I've picked up my skates, but I was roller skating all last year during the pandemic when we couldn't go anywhere. And right now, since the sun is out, I'm roller skating again. And I wanna share with you guys how beneficial something like that is. It's a low impact, fun thing that you can do to keep fit. I'm nowhere close to as fit as I want to be, but I know for sure that this method would work for people like me people who are just starting out working out for the very, very first time. The main idea is just get your body moving. If it means going around the block a few times every day, do that. If it means doing a few push-ups, do that. If it's just stretching, stretching can do a whole world of good in bringing your body, not only just relax relaxation, but also just giving you a positive mindset. This is another video that's part of the Health Advocate series. Make sure you check out that playlist. There's gonna be more videos I'll be adding soon. I just plan to make sure I'm giving you guys the best 
advice, the best content to keep your health and wellness in check. So if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like, thumbs up button right below in the corner, right there. Also, make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you're notified on when I post a new video. And peace out from me and my brand new roller skates. <laughs> I'll be posting more videos on those shortly. So stay tuned. Bye.